All right, so we are working on the number system. This is step two. Step two to becoming a great gospel keyboard player. The number system, okay? So, what is the number system? Um, the number system, musically, musically, the number system is going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Let me tell you why. Um, me personally, I have been playing 20 years, playing the keys for 20 years, right? And so I play for many established churches, uh, many uh, established choirs. Um, I play for several gospel artists, and I've even done work in the studio. And um, I have never learned how to read music. Now, I'm not saying you can compare reading music to the number system, but the number system is what the number system is what has allowed me to do everything I've been able to do. Because, and I'm gonna tell you why. The number system, along with the notes, um, the notes are given. You got to learn your notes. OK, but the number system is really like the foundation and the core of the musical language. Um, when you sit down and you play in the band, a lot of times y'all are communicating with the number system. You're not really calling out notes. You're calling out numbers. Um, when you sit down to listen to music, when you sit down to learn music, the number system is what comes to play. It allows you to build your ear. It allows you to know and understand what's happening in a song, even if you're riding in the car or got your headphones on walking down the street and not even near a keyboard. So the number system is what allows me to drive in the car, listening to music to a song that I need to learn and learning the song in my head because I can hear uh, what I can hear the song based on the number system. So then uh, if you ever you ever been in a church service or hopefully maybe maybe you've tried it already uh, uh, maybe a, a church service or open mic or 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 maybe a spot with live music and maybe you heard the band pick up an, a song like on the spot they understand the number system it's just that simple but you're gonna get it um it's pretty cool and um and here's the thing the number system isn't complicated okay you can definitely do this. The only requirement for the number system is this. You got to be able to count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Some people say eight. One and eight is the same thing, and I'll explain that in a later video. But as long as you can count to seven or maybe even eight, uh, you can learn the number system. It's really that simple. So we're going to dive into this number system thing. We're going to find out. I'm going to show you. I'm going to teach you what it's all about. Uh, and I want you to become a master of the number system. This is going to be the best thing that's ever happened to you musically. So we're going to make this happen. So now we're about to dive into the number system formula. All right. So number system formula. Um, it's, it's so simple that it's, it's really unbelievable how simple the formula is. And um, but before we dive into that, it's, a, it's one thing I need to reiterate and make sure that you got down pat so that you won't be confused. All right. So um, what I need to what I need to reiterate and break down is whole steps and half steps. OK, hopefully you remember this, but just in case I don't want to lose you. OK, so a whole step, excuse me, a whole step is going up or down with one note in between. So, let's take a look. If we're at C and we go up a whole step, we're gonna skip C sharp and we're gonna go to D. So that's a whole step. So we just went up with one note in between, okay? Now, we can go down a whole step. So D, I'm sorry, B is gonna be in between. So we're gonna go to B flat. Okay, now let's go to a uh, let's go to a black note. So to go up a whole step from B flat, we're gonna skip B and we're gonna go to C. All right. So if we're gonna go down a whole step from B flat, we're gonna skip A and we're gonna go to A flat. Because we have that one note in between, all right? So that's a whole step. 
up or down one note, up or down one note with one note in between. All right. So half step. What is a half step? A half step is up or down one note with no notes in between. All right. So if we're at C, there's going to be it's going to be the very next note up. So that's going to be C sharp. Okay. So if we're going to go down a half step and C, going to go to the very next note, which is going to be B. So a half step is up or down one note with no notes in between. The very next note. All right. So you're 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 understanding the second why I had to make sure I reiterated that and make sure that you fully understood that. So the reason I did is because of this formula. This formula uh, is really really simple, but it's all whole steps and half steps. So check this out. The number system in a nutshell. All right. Before I say that, um, all right. So there are twelve notes. C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, B. All right, so those are the 12 notes. So those each note has its own major scale. All right, so it's like it's kind of like simple math. Um, so it's like yeah, like I said, each note has its own major scale, and every major scale has seven notes. Some people say eight, but the the eighth note is really the same as the seventh note. So every note has its own major scale. That is only seven notes. All right, so the C major scale. Let's start with that. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and if we want, if we say eight, we're just gonna go right back to C. All right, that kind of like completes it or whatever. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one. Like I said, some people say eight. If you want to do eight, that's fine. Seven, whatever. It's cool. All right. So every note has its own major scale. C sharp, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. D has the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, one, E flat, same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. All right, and the same thing with E, F, F sharp. You get the picture. Every single note has its own major scale. All right, so let me show you the formula of how to play each major scale and how to memorize each major scale all right we're gonna we're gonna go based off c because c is a really good home base type of situation so all we're doing is we're gonna start at c so let's say you forgot the a major scale or the b major scale or the c major scale this formula will help you remember all right so start at c okay which is like the home note oh one one quick thing Whatever major scale you're playing in, that is always the one. So if you're playing in the C major scale, C is going to always be the one. B flat major scale, B flat is always the one. E flat major scale, E flat is the one. Okay? So that's that's just 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 make sure you remember that. So C scale. C major scale. Start on one. So from one, we're gonna go a whole step. Whole step. Then we're gonna go half step. Then whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. All right, I'm gonna do that one more time. So from C, which is the one, we're gonna go whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. 
So if you see, if you notice what I did, so I went from one and there's two whole steps. Then one half step. Then there's, then there's three whole steps. And then one half step. Then one half step. Okay. So that's all. That's the whole formula. And the formula is the same for all 12 major scales. No matter what scale you're in. All right. That's the formula. So what I what I want you to do is um oh one quick thing uh, when it comes to playing and and you when you when you're playing a song and and we'll get and this will all make sense more sense later when you're playing a song um whatever major scale you're using that's the key that you're playing in so let's say we're playing a song and it's real simple like uh let's say just I'm playing uh. the C major scale right so that means I'm playing in the key of C so let's say I want to play in B I'm gonna use the B major scale so I use the B major scale to play in B so that's when you're playing a song, that's how you know what key you're in based on the major scale or based on the scale that you're using. OK, so just want to throw that out there. So I'm going to show you exactly how to master these major scales. OK, now you got to be patient with yourself, but I promise you, you can do this and it's going to be uh, a game changer for your plan. And your foundation is going to be so strong. It's going to be unbreakable. We are about to master. The number system okay so look i'm not making any bold promises any bold statements i'm not making any guarantees the only guarantee is what you put in all right so with that being said um i'm gonna just be totally honest with you you can't master this in five or ten minutes you can't master it in an hour it's gonna take some time um but the cool thing is you're learning it the right way and your foundation is going to be crazy solid. Like, I mean, solid. So, all right, here's how you're going to master it. Um, look, I, first of all, I want you to be patient. Be patient with yourself um, and trust that this process is solid and it's simple and it works. Okay? So, be patient with yourself and just don't rush. Don't let yourself get frustrated. If you get too frustrated, step away from the keyboard. Uh, take a break. That's, I do it all the time. Uh, take a break anytime I get stuck on something I just take a break you know um and you know every blue moon there's, there's always some type of thing that'll frustrate somebody so anyway it's two exercises I got for you to help you master your note your number system so first the first thing we're gonna do is remember whole whole half whole 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 half so we're gonna do that with every key every major scale Gonna do that three times, take it up, three times, take it up, all the way till we get to the end. All right, so quick example. One, two, and then you just you just count in your head or out loud. You can count out loud, um, count to eight as you're playing. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna visually memorize each major scale. Okay, so one, two, three, So as you're doing this, try to look down and remember that two is D of C of the C major scale and five is G, you know, and you, look, don't 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 pressure yourself to try to memorize this all in one day, all in one setting. That's unless you have photographic memory, that's really not possible. So it's it comes with the process. It takes time. Like I said, patience is a major, major key. All right. So here's how you're going to do the drill. This, the exercise one two three four and look take your time five six seven eight all right then you do it the second time one two three four five 
six, seven, eight. And then you do it the last time, which is the third time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to take it up to the next key, which is C sharp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Third time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're going to take it up to the next key, which is D. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Second time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Third time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So then you keep taking it up. So we did D. Then you take it up to E flat. And then E. And then F. You keep taking it up to all each key to get back to C. All right, so that's the first exercise. The second exercise is you go, you do the notes drill. I mean, the scale drill. And it's just like, just like the notes drill was, the scale drill is the same thing. But all you do, the, the only difference is, is you pick one scale at a time. So um, what you do, so, you, so the first line may say one, so you hit one. Then, then um, the second one is, okay, five. Then you play five, okay? Three, six, seven, two, and like I said, take your time. Four. So you read line by line, and you do all in the key of C first. Then second, then you go to C sharp. Then third, you go to D. Now, here's how I recommend doing it so you don't get overwhelmed, and it's super, super duper simple. The first exercise when you're going up the scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do that three times, go up, do it three times, go up, do it three times. I would recommend doing that one first. Okay. Then the second the second um part of the second exercise, then you do the nose drill and one key for that day. Okay. So you you do you do this the dri the exercise going up the scale and then after that you do the uh the first day you do the the scale drill in the key of C and then the next day you do this you do the uh exercise going up the scale again three up three up three up okay and then after that so you did the C you did the scale drill in C yesterday so today you'll do it in C sharp Okay, and then the, and so the next day you do the scale drill, three up, three up, three up. Okay, then you'll do the uh the exercise in D today, the scale drill in D, and then you just keep going up. So each day you focus on, so each day you keep doing the three up drill. We we'll call it the three up drill. So you do three major scales, take it up three, take it up three, take it up three. And then you focus on that one major scale with the scale drill, okay? So so you focus on one, so with the scale drill, you focus on one scale per day. Like I said, take your time, um, relax. And honestly, you could probably knock this out. The first drill, you could probably knock out in 15 minutes. And then the second one, you knock out, knock out in 15 minutes. And if you don't even have a whole 30 minutes to sit down, you can knock the first one out in 15 minutes and do the other one in another separate 15 minute setting. Okay. Now here's my challenge for you. When you get done with this, well, in fact, you don't even have to fully get done with everything, but I would, here's what I think. When you feel comfortable, 
um, I, I will give you about a week. A week from now, I want you to take and post a video on in our private Facebook group. Uh, just hold it at, at an angle and just call out the skills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, or eight. Okay, and then just do that once for for the video. Just do it once, and then then go up to C sharp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, and then keep going, and then keep going all the way until you get all twelve down. So do that. So in that way, um, you're holding yourself accountable to making sure that you're learning and actually implementing what you're supposed to uh, what you're supposed to do. And then we and then you're able to encourage everybody else that's learning with you. All right. So recap: the three up drill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then take it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then take it up. One, two. So you get what I'm saying. And then you focus on one one major scale with the scale drill. And then the next day you do the same thing. Three up drill, the next major scale. Then the next day, three up drill, next major scale. All right. And then when you get comfortable, uh, I, I give you about five days. Five days, I want you to go ahead and put that video on in the private Facebook group of you doing your major scale drill. I'm sorry, doing your major scales. And then take it up. You don't even have to say nothing. You can just post whatever in text. If you don't like video, you ain't got to show your face. Just just put it in there and uh, hold yourself accountable. Let, this, let the Facebook group be a whole accountability type of thing. All right. So I will see you. Oh, another thing. Um, there are there is fingering to uh, each scale. I didn't teach you that just yet. I want you to get this down pack first because I don't want to overwhelm you or confuse you. All right. So let's get this knocked out and we'll work on the fingering a little later. All right. 